just got up. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this, but this cricket has been chirping all freaking night and I'm about to <laughs> try looking for it. Can't find it. Super annoying. I woke up so many times in the middle of the night and it's all I could hear and Anyway, I'm going to go shower and wipe this disgusting makeup from under my eyes, out from under my eyes, and make myself look presentable. Okay, guys, I found the cricket. Let's see if you can see it. Let's see. Oh, he's going in hot deeper. I don't know if you guys can see him. Oh, my God. God, that thing is ugly. Oh, there he is. You can see him now. He's right there. Against that cord. How am I supposed to get him out of there? Oh, this is annoying. I can't see anything because my hair is in my face. I'm like pretty much done getting ready, by the way. I just need to fix my hair. Sound has literally been going on for so long. <laughs> Hopefully when John gets home later, he's still in the same spot and I can get him out. We can like somehow coax him out because I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do it on my own. Like it's hard to even find him as it is. And then try to hold something or push him out or I don't even know. We're gonna have to figure this out though. Okay, so the past couple days I've really been remembering how hard it is to live with someone else when you've been living apart for four months and you've lived at home and your other person hasn't really had any type of standards about cleaning up after himself and stuff. I feel like I've been constantly cleaning up after John, literally. So many things I've had to put away for him, throw in the garbage for him. Um, cleaning, I left before him a couple weeks and he clearly never cleaned the shower once while I was gone and over the summer it got disgusting and like after a while you just can't repair what's been fixed. He uses hairspray and he left the can sitting in one spot and let it get wet so now there's rust stains on our countertop and it's not going to come out. It's just hard, and I forgot how hard it is to relearn to live with each other. And that's why you don't want to be apart once you like get in a group, because then start to forget all the things that you should do for the other person so they're not constantly picking up after you. I don't even know what I'm saying. That made no sense, probably. It's just really hard constantly cleaning up after someone because they're unable to clean up after themselves or just deciding not to. He got mad at me because I left a band-aid on the table. Do you know how many things I've cleaned up of his that he's left on the table? Let's not even go there. We're gonna be like um people with our kids when we go to school on the first day. Here's John on the first day of work with his super hot shoes. I'm tired, guys. Do it on shoes. Don't move. Oh my god, the camera's getting really dark. Sorry, I have cheese in my mouth. <laughs> Just turn it around and look at yourself. <laughs> okay, bye. See you after work. And the cleaning continues after John. Well, we'll ignore his hat sitting on the table right there because whatever. Uh, look at that. Leaving the hairspray on to leave more rust marks. Well done, John. Well done. Hmm.
I'm gonna kill this kid, guys. I'm gonna kill him. Okay, guys, I've decided I'm going to try and do my first, um, this is great lighting, um, my first run in Sudbury alone. I don't really know where I'm going to be going. Um, I'm kind of going to be winging it. Putting on my shoes. I'm kind of nervous. It's still pretty bright out though, so it should be fine. I think it's 7.30ish. I don't actually know if I don't have my phone with me right this second. It's charging to hopefully get up to at least 10%. It just needs to last. Because I want to map the run so I know how long, dip far I'm going because I want to go for 5k, but I obviously since I never run... <sighs> I didn't run before when I was here, like I just started running this summer. I uh, don't know where 5K is going to be until, so I need to be able to map my run and have the app work the whole time, which could be a problem. Okay, shoes are on. Okay, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so this is the life of a pale person running. I am like so red just to get myself in the viewfinder. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. I did, I didn't do 5K like I had planned. I only did 4K, but I wasn't really sure what 5K was around here. So I just like kind of made up a route as I went. I kind of got a little bit lost. I didn't know how far I like straight off path. So it ended up only being 4K instead of 5K. I did it in 24 minutes, which for most people might not seem like that big of a deal, but that's pretty good for me. Usually 5k takes me 32 minutes, I think. I know that's pretty shitty for all those like runners out there, but I've only been able to run 5k for like maybe even just a month, not even. So I mean, well, yeah, I don't know. Probably about a month. I'd say I started running 5K at the beginning of August. It took me a while to get there. I did the Coach to 5K app. Yes, because I went to Music Festival somewhere in July. And I think we had just finished the app right that week, maybe, or the week after. So, yeah, almost two months, I guess, I've been running 5K. In my hometown, um, there was no elevation. If so, like very, very little. So there's quite a few more big elevation hills than I was expecting. So I don't know, I'm okay with running only 4K. I just made like a million excuses to why I'm there in 4K and 5K, but honestly, I'm okay with it. The elevation, it's been a week since I've run. New place, didn't know what to expect. Psh, I don't know why I'm like making this seem all right and better, because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm happy with 4K. It's better than nothing. Yeah. Sorry about the vlog today. Uh, I was at work all day and I know Britt um, did do most of the vlogging today. It's probably pretty short. I haven't gotten to editing it yet, but I've actually looked at... Um, oh, my glasses are crooked. I haven't gotten to editing the vlog yet, but uh, I know that I'm just sitting down to do it now and I've actually checked over some of the footage and there isn't too much, so... Uh, just bear with us here, and if you have checked us out, that's fantastic. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I'm just filming the outro video. This is today. This is the following day, so um, I just want to let you guys know that we really appreciate uh, you coming by to check us out uh, and you subscribing and liking our videos. That means so much to us. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to have to uh, cut her short for today, but... Uh, Tomorrow we're going to have a full vlog for you and it's going to be just awesome. So if you are uh, anticipating tomorrow, you can always check out our other vlogs and uh, and give us a thumbs up or uh, let us know in the comments whether or not you like the video or you hate it or what you think we should do differently or uh, anything really. You can just tell us you hate it. You can always hit the thumbs down, do whatever you wish. Once again, we really appreciate you coming by. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a wonderful day. Wash those potatoes, girl.